Busters number two, so don't bug me. And this time we're going to look at butterflies. So to begin with, we're going to look at parts of a butterfly. So you, uh, this happens to be a queen butterfly, and you're going to look at each of the sections that are outlined in white here. Um, I will say obviously the wings, uh, the head, uh, fairly small compared to the rest of the butterfly, uh, the thorax, and on human beings that would be where our lungs are, but not for a butterfly, uh, the abdomen, and then the antenna, and legs, and here are three, but only shown on one side in uh, this uh, diagram, uh, so six legs, so it's an insect. Uh, then the mouth parts, the front end of the uh, the head. And then we're uh, looking at one here, and you can just review each of those parts uh, on this uh, butterfly. And again, it's a queen butterfly, uh, which is the lower left-hand uh, picture there. Uh, very, very similar in colour, uh, the outline and the dots, to a monarch butterfly, which um, if you're in certain parts of the US may be aware of them migrating down to uh, Mexico in the tens of thousands. And so why is the queen butterfly that colour? And in this particular case, it's for defence. Uh, the monarch butterfly has a toxin that deters its predators. The queen butterfly doesn't have that toxin, but to predators will look as if it does. And here's a few other facts about uh, butterflies. Um, the butterfly is going to uh, eat liquids through its proboscis, um, the nectar from flowers. Uh, the larval stage, the caterpillars, are going to eat uh, leaves. and uh, the adult butterfly can taste, detect materials through their feet, uh, perhaps is it, oh, to discover if they're going to be the right food for laying eggs on for their, uh, their offspring, for the caterpillars to eat. Um, and butterflies can't fly if their body temperature is less than uh, just about 30 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, your body temperature is about six degrees warmer than that, and the butterflies like to be warmer. Uh, and then there are a massive number of species, and if you think about the number of different types of butterflies you normally see, uh, it's a very small number in comparison. Their top speed, about 12 uh, miles an hour, and uh, that's about... Uh, bicycling, um, not race bicycling, uh, but a bicycle speed. And what do butterflies weigh? Difficult question because it's probably about the same as asking what does a human weigh? And in fact it may even be the case that butterflies have a bigger range, but the average ones we see flying around are about half a gram, uh, just over a hundredth uh, of an ounce. But there are some large butterflies that, that are still very light because they fly, um, weighing over two grams, but uh, with a 30 centimeter, one foot uh, wingspan. And then butterflies have almost, not quite, 360 peripheral vision. So when they're looking forward, they can nearly see behind them. Ours is about 120 degrees, a third of a circle. So about the angle of the butterfly's top wings there. And they have camp uh, compound eyes, um, so made up of, of many segments of eyes. And they also see in a UV range, and you can research a little bit further about the UV, ultraviolet markings on plants that attract the butterflies to them. And little activity here, design a butterfly. Um, consider the wing shape you want, the wing size, antenna, antennae length and shape. 
any other body uh, details, uh, what wing colour or colours you're going to have, and the wing pattern. And you can also go to the Board and Buster's site below and see uh, a little bit more, including butterflies in space.